was who I was before I got here. I was who I was before I got here. And that worked both ways. That don't work just the bad way, some fraudulent, some some fake guy. That works both ways. I was I, I I literally was who I am before I got here. Before you seen who I was, before you knew who I was, I was already who I am. I was who I was before I got here. That's real. That's real. You need to know that. These people ain't making me, bro. I don't need to follow. I don't need to go climb the ranks. When you're dealing with a prophet, he pulls up and people have to submit. That's what you have to understand. You don't need to make me. You don't need to find. You don't need to know nothing about me. All you need to do is listen to my message. That's all you need to do. You don't need to be trying to test me and see where my head is at. You don't need to be trying to do none of that. That's that street stuff. That's that ignorant black street stuff from America. Let's call it what it is. It's ignorant black community street stuff from America. And you think you're going to try to pull up on me and see who I am? No, bro. I'm a prophet. I'm already the man. I'm already made. I'm already a made man. I'm already above your kingdom. Whether it's street kingdom or American government kingdom or community kingdom, whatever out of those three street kingdom, American government kingdom or community American kingdom. I'm above those. I mean, this is the kingdom of God for real, for real. It has no other kingdoms with it. It's not attached to American kingdom. It's not attached to any kings and queens in the earth. You have to understand that. I was who I was before I got here. And you trying to take credit for something that, that you ain't got no credit for. How? What? How they got credit for it? Who, 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 who made me like this? Who trained me? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about real life. Who trained me? Who gave me principles? Who made me like this? Who foundationally made, who am I a student of, of your community? A true student. Who am I a student of? Then you don't have anyone. That's why you can't make sense of it. You think it does, it's not real. It is real. You just don't have ownership. That's what, you, that's what got you messed up. You can't find nobody that can claim to be my master in your country, in America. Who's, who's my master? Who's my master here? In America, you can't find them. And that's what that's what that's what make some of y'all think, oh, this ain't even real. We don't have nothing to connect it to. And but really you you feel that way out of frustration. It's frustration. You can't find nobody to point to to where you can connect the dots and manipulate. So because if you found a legacy in a lineage that I came from, you had already been trying to manipulate that part. Ah, oh, come on, I know how this goes. You had already been trying to manipulate. You can't manipulate it. I don't have no OGs. I don't have any OGs. I don't have anyone I have to check in with. <laughs> Imagine me, a grown man, a prophet, checking in with somebody. That's what's wrong with the black community. Y'all, let me tell you something. Y'all treat each other like boys and girls. Yes, you do. Why should a grown man be checking in when he come to a city? <laughs> nah, that's real, man. That is, 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 I rather, I, re, I rather preserve manhood, African manhood, than African American street politics and principles. Amer African manhood is above that, and no man should be submitting all coming to your city. Some of these people ain't even in the streets. And you extorting them and everything. They ain't in the streets and you out here politicking around them. Nah, that's nah, that's that's emasculation. At least it's an attempt to. At least that's what the byproduct is. <laughs> the byproduct is emasculation. You sitting up here every time they come to your city, yeah, they gotta check in. You act like you're in prison. They gotta check in. Man, I ain't checking. I promise you, in my life, I ain't checking in with nobody. 
man, that we'll go to war. I'm not like I'm not checking in, bro. I don't check in with no. I'm grown. I'm a grown man. I'm 41 years old. What I look like checking in with another man? You got sh- sh- you don't see the emasculation in that, man. I ain't checking in with nobody. Cause and, and I ain't even a part of your kingdom. It just don't even make sense to me, man. That's stupid. That belongs to the cr- the, the underworld, the crime underworld. That's what that belongs to. You keep that for them. Yeah, you don't you don't apply that to all the African American community. That's why y'all out of pocket. Did you hear what I said? You don't apply that to all the African American community, all them street politics and that crime underworld. You do not apply that to our children in the Af- in the African American men and women that are not involved with that. You quick to tell somebody not to be involved, but you involve in everybody. Come on, man. I can't make this up. More times than not, you involve you involve in a lot of people, man. Well, you want to talk about the killings that people that died or shouldn't be dying? You want to talk about that part? Or you want to talk about physically involving people that shouldn't be involved? Either way, you involve in people you shouldn't be involved with. There shouldn't be you talking about your professional, and this is the reason why we never got a really black mob. You know why we ain't getting no black mob in America? And you can talk about all these little guys that, you know, these guys that did what they did or whatever. And they may have been big, okay, granted, in your community. But there was not an official African-American mob because we we so unprofessional. We're so unprofessional. And we pride ourselves on that. We pride us being ratchet. People pride themselves on being ratchet. That ain't nothing but another dynamic to stop you from being unprofessional. If you you could be a gangster and be professional, you could be a killer and be professional. You could be a, pro, a, a a militant or a soldier, preacher, anything, and you could be professional. Professional, in other words, is just being a quality, being quality. That's why there was never an African American mob. You got the Jamaican mob. You got the Jamaican mafia. You got the eight Chinese mafia. I'm not ignorant of that. The Italian mafia is not the only mafia. You got the Russian mafia. You got you, basically in any country that you go to, there's going to be a mob. There's going to be a mafia. There's going to be a crime underworld that are capitalizing off the land. There's a mafia in every in every country. That's for the ignorant folks that don't know no better. And, you, and, and here, you, you, African Americans have not been able to get a mob because of being unprofessional in, in, in killing each other and eating eating each other. You you have a gangster uh, 